The secret of the Mayan calendar, also known as the Aztec clock, has remained a secret for thousands of years. The Lord Jesus Christ has now revealed those secrets. Let's take a closer look at the Mayan calendar, also known as the Aztec clock. This is the real Mayan calendar which is carved from stone. And this is a painting of the Mayan calendar which most of you are used to seeing. In the following demonstration we shall be making use of both of these versions of the Mayan calendar. The Mayan calendar is in fact very easy to decipher. First of all let's take a closer look at the face in the centre of the original Mayan calendar. Now take a look at the counterfeit version. As you can see the original has a demonic face but the counterfeit looks like a cartoon. With a bit of cut and paste we can mix the two together and replace the innocent cartoon face with the original face and alter the colour to match those of the pharaohs of Egypt and a whole new perspective becomes apparent. Please note that the Mayans and the Egyptians were both known for their pyramids. Behind the head of this creature there is a pyramid and there seems to be a flying disc taking off from the pyramid. Now take a closer look at this strange being. He has UFO discs on his head, on his earrings and on his tongue. There is a gold crown on his head and his hair is long like that of a woman. There is also a breathing apparatus on the nostrils. Now take a close look at his eyes. You will see he appears to be wearing goggles. The part of the frame over his right eye appears to be damaged but the left one is complete. So we will make a copy of the undamaged left side and place it on the right. He now appears to be wearing a full set of goggles. Now let's colour in the lower set of teeth. Now let's colour in the upper set of teeth. As you can see he has teeth like a lion. By copying the left side of his face which is showing a tooth and superimposing it over the right we get an even more terrifying perspective of what this creature really is. Now let's make the perspective clearer by highlighting the goggles. In all this creature has protective headgear, protective eyewear and breathing apparatus, all the equipment needed by an astronaut. Now let's place this enhancement in the centre of the Mayan calendar. On either side of the face you can see this creature's hands. Each hand has a UFO carved onto it. So this creature has the winged disc which is the mark of the beast on his forehead and on his right hand. His hands are holding controls and the entire creature is within a disc. Behind the creature you can see what appears to be an X which is in fact a propulsion system for a winged disc. So the central depiction of the Mayan calendar clock is an alien creature at the controls of a winged disc taking off from a pyramid platform. Now let's compare this with the book of Revelation 9-7. The locusts looked like horses armed for battle. They had gold crowns on their heads and they had human faces. Their hair was long like the hair of a woman and their teeth were like the teeth of a lion. They wore armour made of iron and their wings roared like an army of chariots rushing into battle. They had tails that stung like scorpions with power to torture people. This power was given to them for five months. Their king is the angel from the bottomless pit. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in Greek Apollyon, the destroyer. The first terror is past, but look, two more terrors are coming. Now let's compare Mayan cryptography with Byzantine cryptography. 
Byzantine icons and frescoes are covered in winged disc symbolism. This depiction shows an angel with a winged disc behind his head. But it goes much deeper than this. The winged disc. The horned disc. The winged disc. The planet of the crossing, Nibiru. Here we have the same lettering and design as at Alexandra Palace in North London. And on the other side we have the Masonic M, and both have flying X's above them. Above the fallen angel's head is a depiction which pertains to be Jesus Christ. This figure has long hair and is making a signal with his right hand. With one finger and his thumb he is making a circle. With his remaining fingers he makes two horns. I believe that this signal is what the Bible may be speaking of regarding receiving the mark of the beast in the right hand. This is after all the sign of the horned disc which is the mark of the beast. The Mayan calendar or Aztec clock carries the secrets of the past and the future but it also carries the secrets of the present it is the horned disc. It is the winged disc. This incredible stone carving also has a depiction of a dinosaur. Now let's take a closer look at the outer circle of the Mayan calendar. There are claws on the inside which control the clock mechanism, just like the Corpus Christi chronophage clock. The Corpus Christi chronophage has a sting in its tail, and so does the Mayan calendar. Both clocks have teeth like a lion, and they both have crowns on their head. The Corpus clock is reptilian, and so is the Mayan calendar. Throughout history Masonic art and buildings also carry the same depictions. There is further evidence at Machu Picchu of pyramids and also the winged disc and the planet of the crossing. Even this modern metal plaque at Machu Picchu carries a mechanical winged disc with six pyramids in the center. The secret of the Mayan calendar is that it is a wing disc, a horn disc,